Mr. Uh, J. Qureshi, thank you very much. And assalamu alaikum and very good evening to all of you, uh, those of you who are joined in and those of you who will be joining in later. <laughs> this is Gohar Sharif, uh, Coffee with Gohar. And my guest tonight is Mr. Shifat Hashmi. Shafat Hashmi is the CEO of Brand Advertising and Communication, UAE. Plus, he is uh, looking after many, many ventures, uh, and he is looking after many businesses. We'll talk about in a moment. Uh, let's welcome him first of all. Shafat Hashmi, sir, welcome to Gohar Talks and Coffee with Gohar. Thank you very much. Such a privilege, Ji. Such an honor, uh, Gohar, sir, to have invited me and for a beautiful introduction. It's very kind of you. And a belated Eid Mubarak to all yourself, your family, and all your viewers. Thank you very much. Um, pleasure, my pleasure. Shafat Hashmi Saab, let's start with the early, the earliest childhood fond memories. Let's start from there. Uh, and then we'll come to and trace what you are doing right now, what initiatives you have, and what your future endeavors are. So let's start. Where did you spend your early childhood? What's your memories of your early childhood? Uh, born and brought up in Lahore Ji. Lahore mein peda hue or all my life uh, we, uh, we've been brought up in our family home um, in Model Town. Our uh, schooling was also has been in Lahore uh, back in those days. Okay. Uh, Beacon House was one of the good school systems, so I studied from there. Uh, mm -hmm. Then did my A levels and moved into uh, University of Central Punjab. Us door me PCB apex hota tha. Miamit saab ke saath. He happens to be a very dear and close family friend. So uh, uh, we moved uh, to his university. I was. Uh, back in BBA and A levels, so just academy some A levels kar raha tha. Same academy, I uh, I had this entrepreneurial uh, zing to me, you know. So with the same teachers, we opened up another branch office of the same academy, and we started off in the education sector. Uh, that okay. went really well, you know. So we made some good money out of it. And meanwhile, okay. uh, we had put up a printing press with the name of Echan Publications. Uh, a, okay. A small in Royal Park, uh, which happens to be the hub in Lahore. So, a rota machine maha pe lagai thi offset printing ki. So, I started looking into that. <laughs> and, uh, the, you know, yeah, th that was the basically the starting point that rota machine it used to be with the block printing. Absolutely. Is that the one? Yeah, yeah. So, it's a very <laughs> typical one. You create the blocks, you get the magazines out. Uh, my father yes, yes, exactly. uh, launched the magazine with the name of Momin, which is still there. और मुझे याद है कि उस वक्त वो कुछ चीज होती थी पता नहीं आपको उसको एबीसी करवाना पड़ता था कोई अप्रूवल लेनी पड़ती थी सो वी टुक दैट एज वेल एंड वी हैड स्टेक्स इन लाहौर स्टॉक एक्सचेंज वी वर आल्सो इनटू ट्रेडिंग सो व्हाइल आई वाज डूइंग माय बीबीए आई हैव बीन एक्टिवली लुकिंग इनटू द बिजनेस ऑफ माय फादर एंड ट्राइंग टू ग्रो इट वी वर आल्सो पार्टनर्स विद पाकिस्तान अल्को प्रोडक्ट्स अ फ्यू इयर्स लेटर I started importing. I'm the first one to import aluminium composite panels in Pakistan. I'm the first one to import laminated wooden floors in Pakistan. Uh, and uh, so there are a few innovative products which we, you know, because we were uh, with the construction industry back then and aluminium industry. So did a lot of work. Uh, did my DB honors from uh, PCBA and then moved to LSE. Uh, did my MBA from there. So I'm an alumni. उसके बाद बस चाइल्डहुड जो है दैट वाज ब्यूटीफुल आई हैड वन ऑफ द बेस्ट टाइम्स ऑफ माय लाइफ बैक इन माय चाइल्डहुड या ओके जबरदस्त सो यू हैड एक्सेलेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू ग्रूम योरसेल्फ इन टर्म्स ऑफ द अपॉर्चुनिटीज सपोर्ट फ्रॉम पेरेंट्स एंड द एनवायरनमेंट वाज कंडूसिव एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली जबरदस्त एंड कोई उस जमाने की कोई शरारत कोई वाकया कोई सम अचीवमेंट यू वुड लाइक टू शेयर क्या उस जमाने में क्या ड्रीम्स थी क्या करना चाहते थे उस वक्त पायलट इन पाकिस्तान एयरफोर्स सो जब बहुत छोटे थे तो उस वक्त बहुत ज्यादा शौक था कि वी शुड ऑल्सो गो इन पी एफ एंड यू नो सर्व अवर कंट्री एंड फ्लाई जेट प्लेन इट्स कम्प्लीट लाइफ स्टाइल ऑफ इट्स ओन and mm -hmm. uh, but then later on uh, i was more inclined towards arts 
So when I was in grade uh, six, I won the Asian Children Arts Competition uh, with over, you know, 100,000 plus entries back then oh, from, all over the, from all over Asia. So uh, I've been into mm -hmm. arts, but when I, as, as soon as I grew up, uh, I've been into a little bit of music as well. So I'm still a pianist. I still sing. Um, and, you know... Zabardast. انٹرپرنرشپ از دا تھنگ فار یو رادر دین گوئنگ جوائننگ فورسز یا پاکستان میں So I would go and visit him and I would see all these American clients, you know, popping in here and there, you know, and uh, wearing mm -hmm. all these beautiful fashion brands which they're producing locally. And this guy was okay. extensively flying abroad as well. So that kind of pushed me into it that, you know, uh, entrepreneurship and having your own business is probably the way to go. And mm -hmm. I wanted to do my MBA. So, but at the same time, my father took me to a number of artists. So I met a lot of mm -hmm. artists. Uh, emerging artists, uh, established artists um, who were into fine arts, sculptures and so many things. Uh, I realized that we do not appreciate arts that much and there's not a lot of wealth mm -hmm. in arts. Uh, very few people mm -hmm. who are made it to the top. So mm -hmm. my father said that if you want to be an artist, you will sit on your cigarette and sit on your cigarette. اور پینٹنگس بناتے رہو گے کسی نے خرید لی تو خرید لی ورنہ بیٹھے رہو گے سو یو نو آئی تھاٹ اے واٹ از اٹ دیٹ ووڈ کمبائن مائی پیشن فار آرٹس اینڈ ول آلسو ٹرن آؤٹ ٹو بی اے گریٹ بزنس اینڈ دا بیسٹ فار می واز ایڈورٹائزنگ سو مارکیٹنگ ایڈورٹائزنگ واز دا رائٹ سارٹ آف مکس فار می ٹو گیٹ ان ٹو یو نو بوتھ آرٹس اینڈ بزنس So therefore, this all started and today, mashallah, we are one of the most creative advertising firms uh, in the Middle East region uh, with our Zabadast. office in Pakistan, which we opened last year. Zabadast. Great. So, this is your advertising company, Brand Beat Advertising and Communication. Are you into advertising only or are you long-term plans mein, koi, uh, you are uh, looking on the possibility of setting up a TV channel as well? I wish we could. Last time I checked, uh, in Pakistan, there was a TV channel in Pakistan. But mm -hmm. TV channel is not really the way to go. I mean, TV okay. channels are already struggling all over the globe. Uh, digital okay. is definitely the way to go. This is what I would suggest a lot of people. Um, right, the majority right. of our content consumption these days is through social media handles and different channels. So mm -hmm. uh, if we are able to produce some good quality content, this is definitely the way to go, um, even for local media channels. Unfortunately, what we are acquiring in our local media right now is, you know, typical talk shows. Uh, that is also very much imported from, you know, um, neighboring country in India. Uh, although mm -hmm. our uh, journalists are not so bad, they are so bad. Uh, they are yes. very well refined people, very good people, mm -hmm. and they still have Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a very good talk show. So uh, mm -hmm. I truly respect all of them. But uh, yeah. and internationally also, I think CNN.com, you remember that before 12 years ago, CNN.com advertised on their channel. So right. they took the right. lead. And they, they yes. really took the lead back then. And they started yes. putting up a lot of stuff and tried to move the users all the way to .com. So yes. we are still, you know, so, trying to adopt it. Yeah. And over the time, so I there think it is, will be adopted. There is definitely a need for that uh, thinking and to switch over from the traditional, conventional TV channels to uh, e.com type of uh, thing, right? 
Absolutely. I think it's more about uh, docu-series and documentaries and information along with the zing of current affairs. And then the right. third category is obviously home entertainment. And today we see Netflix as a big name for home entertainment, which is right there on your device. Yes. I mean, uh, whatever yes. channels we watch on cable, uh, cable operators, uh, the channels are there, they do not come on our mobile device or handheld devices. So if they yes. also start coming on our handheld devices, I'm, I'm yes. pretty sure that, you know, the viewership of even the regular uh, channels which are aired is going to also increase significantly. Right, right. Achha, uh, is uh, COVID-19, the <coughs> coronavirus ka tanazur mein in this particular context, how do you see uh, what should our youth do, what should our people do? Bohat badi majority hai Pakistan mein youth ki jo uh, is waqt sirf aur sirf internet pe aur web surfing pe apna web, uh, web surfing pe apna time guzarte hain. They are not doing anything uh, very productive. So, कैसे उनको चैनलाइज किया जाए उनकी एनर्जीज को चैनलाइज किया जाए और दे स्टार्ट फोकसिंग ऑन समथिंग दे कैन रिलेट टू आपके ज़हन में कोई चीज आती है कोई खाका आपके ज़हन में देखिए वी वन ऑफ आवर बिगेस्ट स्ट्रेंथ्स स्पेशली फॉर पाकिस्तान इज यूथ एंड वन एंड हाफ ईयर अगो व्हेन आई केम टू पाकिस्तान आफ्टर नॉट विजिटिंग पाकिस्तान फॉर 7 इयर्स स्ट्रेट you know so mm-hmm. for me it was almost a shock to see that w- w- the way i left pakistan it was actually was a much different much different was much a much different, different. i did yeah. see and observe a cultural shift and the mm-hmm. only cultural shift which i observed was that uh, people started wearing a lot more brands and women started wearing a lot more jeans and t-shirts and you know western wear but apart mm. from that, there was no other change when it comes to the mindset of our youth. It's pretty much the same. They are still facing the same problems, the same education system, the same knowledge base, the same mushroom growth of, uh, you know, uh, skill-based uh, institutes all over Pakistan, which are hardly teaching anything. Uh, there are no proper certifications. Whoever we hire needs a lot more training in our country. Now... The problem with our youth is that I, I see a lot of frustration. Um, people are looking for shortcuts to make a quick buck because as we, as we progress, we see a, a, the gap between the top tier and the bottom tier is increasing. Middle class somehow is at the same time is shrinking. So somebody asked me a few days ago that, Shafat, you must have a beautiful success story. And I said, no, uh, I don't have a success story where I was born in slums and I became a millionaire. That's not my success story. Hmm. My, the, the success story these days is of people who were born in middle class and they're still able to uh, sustain yeah. their uh, you know, status in the society or have been still hmm. able to sustain the business or job or whatever they have been given. So if we, right. if we go and if I try to check out a lot of people, you know, a person who is textile, सेक्टर में चला जाते हो बेचारा फिर सारी उम्र वहीं पे रहते हैं सिमिलर पोजीशन पे ब्रांड टू ब्रांड हॉप कर लेते हैं बट दैट्स प्रीटी मच अबाउट इट यू नो ग्रोथ ट्रेनिंग मार्केट ग्रोथ कंज्यूमर ग्रोथ एक्सपोर्ट्स सो मेनी थिंग्स आर इंटरलिंक्ड एंड अनफॉर्चूनेटली द द द काइंड ऑफ द एनवायरनमेंट दैट आवर कंट्री गिव्स इज नॉट समथिंग व्हिच वुड नर्चर ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट a lot has been done by NGOs, private sector, but then again, how far they can stretch because the moment right. you're out, you tend to deal with a lot of government departments. So even if you look at the startup ecosystem of Pakistan and all that the private sector and even the media has been trying to push entrepreneurship in Pakistan, still both the mindset, the exposure of our youth is not enough. And then at the same time, there is no uh, kind of support uh, towards the ecosystem of Pakistan, which can really help these startups progress. And we could envision a unicorn coming out of this country. And same right. goes with any international brand or any manufacturing concern. Um, none of us have gone really international. You and I have been living in the UAE. And if you go to Carrefour or, you know, Giant or any of these grocery uh, stores, super stores, Spinnies. 
spin is, spin is for example yeah. so yeah uh, or even you know short ramps you won't find pakistani yeah. brands out there on the shelf and that right. really explains where we stand right mera khayal mein shifat hashmi sahab baat ye hai ke we as a general public we as youth we as uh, budding entrepreneurs we have a desire we have a, a goal but probably that burning desire is not there that passion is missing uh, in order to have a success in the worldly terms success in terms of becoming a good entrepreneur uh, there is a disconnect between passion plan and perseverance in my opinion if these three key ingredients are there and they are in sync passion number 1 plan number 2 which is equally important and persistent to continue wo sabit kadmi ke sath then hmm. you can achieve anything what is your take on it i agree with you i would perhaps add two more things and one mm-hmm. of them is your belief from where it all begins um, right. and you know uh, you need to have faith because uh, you know we we both have spent a lot of time um, professionally and at different levels and uh, our eyes have seen a lot you know um, mm-hmm. with a lot of exposure so sometimes things just happen because there is one way or the other there is divine intervention in everything that we do and mm-hmm. uh that's something which really differentiates one person from another person because on someone mm-hmm. there are some right. blessings and somebody is not that blessed everything they try it somehow fails yes we can attribute those mm-hmm. failures to personal to skills and so much more but then there are people mm-hmm. who do not have skills and they're still successful uh mm-hmm. again how do we define success is also a question the the, the second thing right. that i would add in your set is skills skills yes. is the key uh right. our uh, youth here is somehow apprehensive when it comes to learning and especially acquisition mm-hmm. of skills because when they learn right. something a little bit they do not try to become an expert in it but they are like that whatever we have learned is enough because this can pay me 20,000 30,000 rupees a month if i go for freelancing but had they become yes, an exactly. expert they would have made up 150 to 250k a month only through freelancing yes, exactly. and they could really yes, differentiate exactly. themselves in the global competitive arena so what hmm. really matters is that your objective in life needs to be big your goals have to be big and then right. once you break it down into smaller milestones and then try to move forward i think this is where the success factor comes in um i always suggest people you know one must travel traveling helps a lot you oh, learn yes. things oh, yes. you know oh yes Definitely. and uh, the problem with majority of our youth is that they can only travel from lahore to islamabad or islamabad to karachi or to gilgit and sawat and then they're back uh so that doesn't really give them the right business education which is needed or the the idea generation the, the exposure the mind doesn't open so a lot of people that i meet with somehow their minds are closed even the startups that we come across or entrepreneurs that we come across and the ideas that they try to sell us majority of those are very contained to and relevant only to the pakistani market they they don't think global right. or they don't think regional and i think this right. is where we lack definitely definitely uh ek ye bhi reason hai ab uh, institutions jahan pe wo bacche padh rahe hain bacche bachiyan they are getting education wo unka abhi tak wohi purana system hai jisme grading hai marking hai a levels hai number of a's hai jab tak hum log us mindset se nahi niklenge aur hum apne skill set ko develop nahi karenge hamari social skills develop nahi hongi aur hum apne इमोशनल कॉफिशेंट पे काम नहीं करेंगे इंस्टेड ऑफ आई क्यू पे हम प्राइड लेते रहे या बोस्ट करते रहे कि मैंने इतने मार्क्स लिए एक टेस्ट में तो मेरा ख्याल है कि ये प्रॉब्लम प्रसिस्ट करती रहेगी आपका क्या ख्याल है यूर एब्सोलूटली राइट आई थिंक यस देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम विद अवर एजुकेशन सिस्टम बट दैट नॉट ओनली अवर एजुकेशन सिस्टम इज अडोप्टेड सिस्टम विच इज अ ग्लोबल एजुकेशन सिस्टम so yes mm-hmm. there is grading i mean if i need to uh, hit harvard or mcgill or mit or cambridge or oxford i need to showcase my a grades you know 
So it's not only with us. I do see a lot of people talking about the education. I mean, there needs to be a complete revolution, a complete reset. Mm -hmm. What we really need today is experiential learning. And experiential learning is the key to success. So for example, if an MBA comes, an MBA graduate comes to me today and he says, Shafat Sab, I want to work with you as, let's say, a head of marketing for one of your uh, real estate firms or an asset management firm, my first question would be, do you know social media marketing? Can you do it hands-on? And he would say, no. I would say, can you make a simple graphic designing skills? Do you have any of those just to create a social media post? No. Can you edit a simple video all by yourself and just post it on an urgent basis? No. So yes, it is the skill set which definitely lacks. And then at the same time, when they try to create something, uh, the, the right semiotics, the right content, the right copy is not there. My biggest uh, dilemma, which I receive here, that if we have a web developer that we hire in Pakistan, he doesn't know English very well, and he can't really conceive the business. So it's not only right. that you are a web developer, a WordPress developer, an e-commerce developer. You need to know and understand what the business is, what the UI will be, what kind of content I need to place where, how can I make an infographic out of it? And this is the reason that Pakistanis are somehow, and even Indians, by the way, are somehow failing in that bigger picture of uh, the ELAS community or freelance community, essentially because people from Philippines and Europe are still working at a much cheaper dollar per hour rate, and uh, they're producing excellent quality. And this has been a dilemma, even if we look at our exports. The Desi state system, God by, has never, ever, even till date, have not focused on branding and marketing. You know, they have been sales right, focused. Right. They don't want to invest into it. And this is the reason yeah. that they have failed in developing mega super brands. Yeah, the vision is lacking. They don't see far behind their own very uh, close uh, network of their own connections. So they are not reaching out globally to the global customer. Minus, minus Unilever, minus my, Mars Incorporation, minus PNG, and minus few uh, top MNCs like Coca-Cola snacks or Pepsi snacks. I mean, minus all of those, what do we have locally? <laughs> Go and look at the shelf of any grocery store. Uh, yeah. Compare the packaging of both products. Compare the customer mm. services of both products. Even if you look at the services industry, there is a lack of professionalism, there is a lack of systems, and there is a lack of many things. Only because the vision and the execution is not there. We are people with huge planning. We talk great. Uh, we love to carry and get a business card printed with, say, a CEO or a director. Uh, we have huge egos, mm -hmm. uh, but we don't have ethos, you know. Uh, exactly. Exactly. And this is the, the only difference that we have. Definitely, definitely. Shifat Hashmi sahab, ek aapki zindagi ka aisa pehlu bhi hai jiska taluk aapki jo lineage hai, jo aapki jo aapki shajra hai, wo jo Hashmiites se milta hai. Logon ko uske baare mein thoda sa batayenge how and where and when that gets connected or usko there are so many in the field who uh, just portray themselves as being the Gaddi Nishkeen or they are making it commercial venture. I'm sorry, you don't discuss it openly, but probably this is one of the opportunity for my viewers to see you in a different light as well okay ek bahut hi neemat hai aur saadat hai aapke liye aur aapki family ke liye dekhiye sir with more wo spider man ka ek dialogue i think which is with more power or position comes more responsibility um it is very easy to snap a sayed next to your name but it is extremely difficult to carry it and be responsible for it so my my grandfather my mere jo dada the he never wrote Sayyid next to his name. And he was even mm -hmm. uh, cautious to mention Hashmi next to his name. So when my father asked him that, why don't you write it? Because all the other uncles uh, of my father, they used to write it and they used to boast about it. 
And my grandfather used to say that I feel ashamed uh, that I should write it because it's such a huge responsibility on me. And I don't find myself worthy of writing it, although he was a great gentleman, you know, I mean, he was he was a proper moment and we learned a lot. Uh, the Gaddi Nasheen, the, the spiritual, the spiritual lineage, uh, they, it has nothing to do with the blood lineage. So there are two distinct things. The spiritual lineage is from our great grand sheikh, uh, God bless him, uh, Khaja Abdul Hakim Ansari Rahmatullah From them, Hazrat Mulana Karimuddin Rahmatullah It goes all the way to the, the Shajra of Naqshband and Hazrat Bahauddin Naqshband Rahmatullah At the same time, he has also been blessed with the Chistia uh, order and uh, my father has been blessed with the Qadri order. Uh, essentially, uh, uh, reaching to Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani. Now, because we are Sayyid and Hashemites, obviously Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani, Rahmatullah being a Sayyid, Hassani and Hosseini, so that traveled in our bloodline and somehow merged. Now, the problem t- these days is that my father has been a fighter pilot. He was in Air Force. We have worked our lives off. And if I had to consider myself as somebody who is literally sitting at home with a big chanda box, um, frankly speaking, I don't need to be a CEO of an advertising agency. I don't need to be consulting brands. I, kn- I don't need to be working 16 hours to 18 hours a day and trying to, you know, pay off our bills and uh, mm-hmm. generate employment. So uh, we are all hardworking people. This is what we have been taught. Uh, we have never been told that if we are born, we are going to be the next sheikh, you know, because we don't know who's going to be the next sheikh. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, however, it is my uh, younger brother who happens to be the Sajada Nasheen and God knows better how it's going to be. So you know, for us, we all run our own homes and we do it in a very responsible way. Uh, yes, we carry a name. Our entire Shajra is intact, Alhamdulillah. And we have our cousins all the way in you know, GCC, in Medina al Munawwara, in UAE and elsewhere. Um, and you know, even in Pakistan, there are a lot of Hashemites. Uh, when somebody comes to me and says, Kiji, uh, I am a Sayyid or I'm not a Sayyid or maybe he's a Jali Sayyid, they keep, uh, I'm not here to judge. If someone claims that he's uh, from the lineage, uh, my job is to respect him and love him uh, without making any distinct remarks that whatever wrong he does, whatever sins he may do, whatever character mm-hmm. he might be, uh, it doesn't really affect me and it doesn't really matter to me. My job is to respect him uh because mm. essentially because of uh the family name which he's carrying dekhiye wo sadat ki ahl al bayt ke respect karte hain tabhi wo naam apne saath lagate hain na to agar laga lete hain to achhi baat hai hum sab nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ki ummati hain and there is you know there is absolutely no harm uh what really differentiates us is amal us salihat so if we do good deeds and if we are kind and we are humble i think it's all about really spreading peace uh کسی کو ہم لوگ نہ کسی اپنے سے خدا نہ خاصہ کم تر سمجھتے ہیں نہ ہی کسی کو اپنے سے برتر سمجھتے ہیں آئی تھنک وی آر آل ایکول دس از واٹ آور رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ہیز اسٹیٹڈ ان دا لاسٹ سرمن آف حجت الوداع سو یس آئی ہیو کنورٹیڈ اے لاٹ مینی پیپل مسلمس مائی بردر ہیز کنورٹیڈ اوور ہنڈریڈ پیپل مسلمس ان دا یو کے اینڈ وی آر کمپلیٹلی نان سیکٹیرین وی آر کمپلیٹلی نان پولیٹیکل اینڈ وی آر کمپلیٹلی نان فنڈیڈ سو دیر از نو فنڈنگ Uh, there is no kabar parastiyan, there is no chadhave, there is nothing of that sort. Uh, plain, simple Islam. And this is why the, the name of our silsila is silsila aliyah tawheedia, which essentially mm-hmm. means that tawheed is the only common message of all the messengers and all the ahlul bayt and all the sahaba. So we always mm-hmm. avoid any kinds of arguments and you would not find mm-hmm. us in media or in government or any kinds mm-hmm. of those affairs. Mm-hmm. So we have really mm-hmm. kept ourselves very low-key. and just mm-hmm. try to play our role as a responsible muslim um, of the mm-hmm. larger muslim community zabardast zabardast beautiful this is how it should be and uh, must be very proud of all this uh, the efforts and the services you are doing in this context jo madina mein abdul kaki sahab ka jo museum hai اس میں بھی آپ کے کچھ آپ لوگوں نے اس میوزیم میں بھی کچھ وادرات کچھ ریلیکس کچھ تبرکات آپ نے کانٹریبیوٹ کیے ہیں اس میں بھی کچھ ہے آپ کا دیکھیے کانٹریبیوشن از آلویز بوتھ ویز اینڈ سم ہاؤ دے آر 
uh, you know, we we are family friends. We happen to know each other in Medina Tul Manabra. My brother mm-hmm. might be the right person to to speak about it, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, because he's essentially the one who looks after the entire religious affairs of our order and uh, and holding mm-hmm. all these relationships uh, when it comes to the the holy relics. Uh, and yes, we are custodians of a lot of holy relics, but which is a very private Mashallah. thing. Uh, Mashallah. But then Mashallah. Uh, a huge blessing upon us as well. Uh, essentially, majority of them are with my brother, and he mm-hmm. is the he is essentially the custodian, and he allows who have permits, whoever he permits. Um, they are mm-hmm. definitely not out there for display. The only thing is that they 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 are the, they're a source of barakah for us. You know, um, it's mm-hmm. just like that. You look at your uh, deceased grandfather's watch. And the moment you look at it, you remember him, and you feel uh, melancholic uh, to looking at it, and you it reminds you of all the love and him, for example. So same is the thing with us that when we look at one of the relics of uh, our lineage and our forefathers, hmm. uh, we look at it, and we it it helps remind us about their mission, about their character, and is a source of inspiration for us to to be like them. Obviously, we cannot be. But we have to at least follow the path, um, and that adds an additional responsibility. So, be it any museums like Top Kapi Palace or uh, you know some private collections in the Emirates and in Oman and and all over Shana. GCC, I think it's Mashallah. just a source of inspiration and goodness. It's it's about, it's our heritage, and the heritage Mashallah. must be protected. Uh, and this is where the limit is defined. That heritage is heritage. And uh, Dean is Dean, and belief is belief. So I, I think these are those fine lines. If we keep those and have a mutual respect of opinions for each other, uh, you know, we can really become a very closely knit society, a community which can excel at a pace that is unbeatable and cannot be competed with internationally as well. ग्रेट अच्छा वापस आते हैं आज के टॉपिक के ऊपर एंड दैट इज इन पोस्ट करोना टाइम्स हाउ डू यू सी पाकिस्तान कमिंग आउट ऑफ इट इन टर्म्स ऑफ ग्लोबल शिफ्ट क्योंकि अब बहुत सारी चीजें हैं व्हाट वी यूज टू डू फेस टू फेस व्हाट वी यूज टू ऑफर सर्विसेज एंड प्रोडक्ट नाउ most of those will switch on to online uh, retail online services online product sales or probably something else will generate the leads rather than business meetings to aap usme kya dekh rahe hain ki future kaise change hone ja raha hai post corona times mein dekhi aajkal because it's very new uh video conferencing and you know uh lead generation used to happen over phone calls uh through cold calling and we had a lot of call centers or it was done through email marketing and then there was referral marketing and there were business networking events so few sources and exhibitions for example so those were few sources of lead generation for any business so to speak now uh right. when we go uh and then there you know there is this advertisement as well through through media now uh, what's happening and what has changed is ki abhi everybody is super excited and is ready to available on a video call you know because right. people are trying to get a hang of it so it's that yes. curve of early adapters you know trying to hook on and trying to be mm. modern i mean we have been using video conferencing since 8 9 years or even more since skype came right. through because we had international right. clientele and you can never get a ticket to europe to meet one of the yacht buyers or a huge oh, yes. buyer you know so yes exactly jahan pe abhi ye cheez has just come up now how much pakistanis have been famous for abusing technology you know mm-hmm. so i do see an abuse in this as well which will happen over time aur thode arse baad kuch usme usage bhi aa jayegi but abhi to ye ek trend bana hua hai iske baad aapko lagega ki bahut sare log will not be available for you when you call them for a video call or a video conference वो आप अल्टीमेटली कहेंगे यार जस्ट सेंड मी एन ईमेल लाइक द रेगुलर वे एंड आई विल सी इफ आई कैन स्पीक टू यू ओवर द फोन फॉर टू थ्री मिनट्स रीजन बीइंग के अ पर्सन लाइक माय सेल्फ सडनली माय स्क्रीन आवर्स हैव गॉन टू ऑलमोस्ट 12 आवर्स अ डे यू नो व्हिच इट वाज नेवर लाइक दिस आई यूज्ड टू बी सिटिंग ऑन माय स्क्रीन नॉट मोर देन 3 3 एंड अ हाफ आवर्स 
I would have more yeah. personal meetings. I would have more phone calls um, and m- maybe a little bit of traveling. Ab yeah. ghante, agar main screen pe hon, the last thing I want is to hear a sales call, a sales pitch yeah, call exactly. from an, a random person. That also on a exactly. video. Exactly. So exactly. It, the, the day never ends. It seems that the day never ends. You are on to something and being uh, subjected to this blue light all the time, whether it's a laptop, iPad or iPhone. You are always true. on to something, right? True. So I think lead generation uh, is going to be more skewed towards LinkedIn, developing professional contacts. But I'm sure you must have mm-hmm. used LinkedIn. I've also used LinkedIn. Oh, My yes. firms have used oh, LinkedIn. Yes. Uh, again, you know that even on LinkedIn, when you try to send in um, a message, even if you've got a paid account, you don't really get a response because, again, there's a lot of spam going on out there, too. Um, in Pakistan, right. there is no culture of LinkedIn. It's more Facebook. So there is mm-hmm. nothing known as a personal Facebook account. It's more like a public Facebook account. People adding right. people randomly uh, right. without any alignment. So where there is a gap, what will happen is, that people are going to create power connections and some tools will sort of pop up in these social media platforms, including LinkedIn and Facebook, which will align your likes, your psychographics or your professional behavior or your professional expertise and will get right, you connected right. with like-minded people. So this common is where band, AI, common bands. Common bands. Yeah. So this is where yes. AI is going to step in. And I know for oh, a yeah. fact, knowing the top leadership of LinkedIn, that they are uh, actually working on something similar. Um, and similarly, uh, the same thing goes with a lot of other things, the kind of products, the kind of services that will be given to you, will be advertised on your screens, are going to be based on your psychographics, based on big data and whatever is being done. So post-COVID, um, I think number one post-COVID is a couple of years away. Uh, even as we sit here right now. Uh, so the, the, the essential thing is that we need to somehow survive through this time. Definitely. In my humble that perspective... Is, that is the first thing. That is the yeah, first thing. My humble perspective, Gaur Saab, is that it is leading towards a de- an economic depression which is bigger than the Great Depression. This is how I foresee it. Today, even if you ease down the lockdown and a lot of economies <laughs> as of today's date are easing down on the lockdown, the consumer sentiment is not there. 14.5% unemployment rate has already hit the United States. 185 right. to 19% is global. Uh, we are looking right. at 20 or 25%. Now, in developing countries where there is one earning hand and five people who are the consumers right behind him, uh, one person unemployed starves a family of five on an average or even more. So its impact and the magnitude of unemployment in developing countries is going to erupt corruption, is going to erupt insecurities, and is going to add fuel to the fire which is already out there, that is, people are sitting at home, psychologically frustrated, otherwise frustrated, nothing to eat, no health care, <coughs> no education, um, no food, no shelter, what they're going to do, you know? So where we are heading is actually a disaster, something that we really need to look at. I mean, we can close our eyes. People can call me that you are pessimistic and you're not very optimistic about the situation, but frankly speaking... Uh, that's the reality and we can't really close our eyes from reality, can we? You know, we need to be prepared for the worst. And frankly speaking, the worst is around the corner. Abhi January tha, and we are hitting June. We are done with the first six months, two quarters of 2020. And where are we? In this way, the next two quarters, bhi, I think, will be out of the way and we will not what Definitely. Very testing times, very, in fact, uh, challenging times. And probably we need uh, more people like you, entrepreneurs like you, the leaders of the industry like you, who can not only uh, show us the path, but guide us and probably the youth of Pakistan and uh, uh, entrepreneurs of Pakistan to how to 
conduct themselves, how to manage their businesses and how to lead their lives. Now coming to personal level, uh, how do you manage and cope with the stress and anxiety? ये जो एक क्वालिटी होती है सक्सेसफुल लोगों में दे मैनेज देयर लाइफ वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस वर्क लाइफ इंटीग्रेशन हाउ डू यू मैनेज दिस सर हम लोगों के लेवल के ऊपर जो लोग होते हैं वो आर सर्वेंट्स ऑफ द कस्टमर्स एंड कंज्यूमर्स आई मीन दैट्स द रियलिटी ऑफ अस वी आर लेबल्ड as business leaders and we obviously get our pr done as well like many others and there is no harm in doing it but the bottom line is that we obey what our customers say and we make sure that they are serviced to a level and they are offered value to our intelligence expertise and skills and uh, products and innovative products that we create be it financial products or other products so pehli baat to ye ki we are very humbly just i mean i have seen a lot of ups and downs of my life and i still think that uh, it's great to stay uh, closer to the ground and closer to the roots now are you coming back to your question of managing stress and anxiety do raste hote hain um mare bahut sare peers who share similar positions like us uh either they go for alcohol or parties or women or you know yachting or sometimes they travel uh you know so there's a good thing to it and there's a bad thing to it there's there's a party freak to it and there's a non party freak to it so main uske bhi against nahi hu aur main iske bhi against nahi hu ke kuch log jo hote hain they keep their faith aur wo surah muzammil ko follow karte and you know then they wake up late at night and they bow down their head in front of their god and they seek the blessings of divine so Swami. i am more of the of this category for me Swami. to manage any stress or anxiety ultimately boils down to holding the feet of my parents and requesting them for prayers or uh, doing a good deed the, there is nothing that makes me happy than uh, maybe helping a poor person or being of help or cr- cr- being in a role which is helpful uh, towards goodness So whenever I'm too stressed out, I usually go out and I try to see people who are uh, financially or you know physically uh, in in a challenge, and I would perhaps sit with them and be more thankful. Uh, and gratitude, I think, is my direction when it comes to managing stress and anxiety. So I try to have gratitude and hope and faith. Now I cannot trust the market. I cannot trust the environment. Environment has suddenly changed. we never knew that the macro environmental factors would actually be directly hitting a business we always used to consider micro environmental factors to be having a direct impact and macro environmental factors to be having an indirect impact but the market changed today we have covid 19 the macro environmental factor hitting us directly so the only uh, faith or the only belief that i can have is on something and somebody supreme then all of this and i think if that opens up the channels and there has always opened up the channels for me so i think i use my tried and tested method which has been there for thousands and millions of years has always helped me out so uh, as i said kai dafa music bhi baja lete hain kai dafa kuch likh lete hain to usse kuch bahar kar lete hain you know sometimes you just uh, tend to play with your kids and sometimes hmm. you just go to somebody spiritual and just listen to him for 30 40 minutes in in his holy presence and just feel mm-hmm. that energy of positivity flowing in so there are multiple ways i always suggest uh, my friends ke zindagi mein koi ek aisa mentor koi ek aisa murshid zarur hona chahiye parents family wife bachon ke alawa who you can you know fall back to and really share everything that you even want to share about anything in your life you know and he is more like a guide uh, to you uh, both in this world and for prepare you for the hereafter so like i've been very depressed all this eid because of the people who unfortunately passed away in the karachi incident yes uh, so many very dreams, sad in fact sir, yes. so many dreams so many things all shattered all gone uh, ye zindagi hai so hum kitna kuch bhi kar le 
गौरबाई वो अल्टीमेटली इट ऑल बॉइल्स डाउन टू दैट सेवन फीट एंड सेवन फीट बिलो राइट यू नो दिस इज हाउ हेल्पलेस वी आर सो इफ दैट इज अ रिमाइंडर फॉर आस तो उसमें मेरे ख्याल में वी शुड बी रियली रियली थैंकफुल एंड एट द सेम टाइम वी शुड बी वेल प्रिपेयर एट एनी मोमेंट ऑफ अवर लाइफ दैट येस वी हैव टू सी आवर लॉर्ड आवर गॉड वी विल बी अकाउंटेबल फॉर वट एवर वी हैव डन सो हमें टाइम वेस्ट नहीं करना चाहिए आई डोंट वेस्ट टाइम आई हेट टू वेस्ट टाइम जबरदस्त जबरदस्त Uh, well thank you very much uh, shifat hashmi sahab it was a pleasure talking to you and look forward to having more of these sessions in the coming months and uh, it was a pleasure indeed or uh, please dua mein yaad rakhiye or i wish you all the best for your current ongoing and your future endeavors thank, thank you, you very much gaur bhai such a pleasure such an honor looking forward and Not you have been a great host Thank you so much, you. and we definitely enjoyed our digital coffee that we had. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. That was amazing. I I, I owe you one <laughs> Starbucks sometime somewhere, probably Dubai. I think it's overrated. <laughs> it's too expensive. A homemade would do great. <laughs> time to save money. Time to hold on right. to whatever we have. Yes, exactly. I wish you all the best. Exactly. Have a great evening. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Salam alaikum. Thank you. Salam. <laughs> Thank you for watching another episode of Coffee with Gurs. Hope you enjoyed the uh, talk, and we'll be back with another episode. In the meanwhile, if you want to sponsor these episodes, you can contact me on the numbers mentioned below. Thank you.